that he won't because I would enjoy it too much. By the way, si <laughs> as an uh, aside. Uh, I okay, he's going to do it. Nice. <laughs> as an <laughs> aside, I just wanted to add in, since uh, I wasn't casting that first match with you in Zombie Grub, big shout out to DNS for mm -hmm. uh, winning. I mean, P Showtime, if there's... A if there's one thing I know about Showtime from look, wow, this cannon rush spot is oh, yeah. disgusting. No, this is a great map for cannon rushing oh specifically God. versus Zerg because of this spot right here, too. Or sorry, uh, not DNS. Hellraiser, he is going to be dealing with the proxy edge. Because you either have to, yeah, you're going to have to pull a lot of probes or try to build the cannon in your main. Yeah, there is. I mean, he doesn't have to build another pylon to get the cannon up. Interesting. Yeah, he can up. put it in range of the hatch, but you need, what is it? Is it five is the magic number? Five probes, or yeah, five workers attacking a building hatch. I think if yeah. you do it immediately. Yep, I think it's about five. Well, we got the first pylon on the high ground. This is kind of important for a laser to try and deny the. But the roaches, roaches should be able to take care of that pretty soon. Okay, he's gonna throw down the cannon. He's kind of timed this out, so this is gonna be a question: Does a laser let this hatch finish? If it does, I think, I think the cannon's actually gonna finish and a little bit before that. If he can build three roaches inside of Hellraiser's base, I think it's worth it. Well, he'll have enough larva to maybe build two. Yeah. What would be the 300 IQ play is if Hellraiser has his photon cannon target fire at the larva on the hatchery when it finishes before turning units. Yeah, the shield batteries are not really, there's one shield battery on the way. This pylon's kind of important, and it's not just about this pylon repowering things. The cannon's gonna get taken out as well, so there's actually nothing here for Hellraiser to really yeah. fall back to. I feel like I'm in elementary school, because we're watching a laser take a pack of Dunkaroos here over Hellraiser. He's uh, gonna get pushed back pretty fast. Like, it's it, he's on top of the production yeah. here. Shield battery's gonna die, pylon's gonna die. He's gonna throw down another pylon, but that means that there's no more stalkers coming out for a little bit, and this is already enough to take on two stalkers without a shield battery. Yeah. Boom. That's shut down, and the hatchery's finished up in the main base. Sure, it's taking some damage, but there are the three roaches you were talking roaches. about. Yeah, and you just build a couple. And when there's a full wall off, and also not enough energy for a re- Fight Okay, bro. roaches! Okay. He, I don't know if he's like deliberately trying to like buy a little bit more time on the hatch, but why not just maybe his probes? Well, Am I missing something? There's no cannon in the mineral line. No, I, he absolutely should just be going after probes. I guess he wants to maybe buy a little bit more time before the probes guess, get pulled. Is it, is it three three roaches to one shot since he doesn't have yeah. plus one? Yeah, so he just wants to have them all together because he knows that. Oh, he's gonna go after the cannon now that the no the shield battery should maybe keep it alive. Battery daily shield man. There is finally that recall. He's gonna be able to recall a couple of stalkers, but this is still a scary push here as the ravagers can knock down the pylon. Once the pylon's gone, all Set. of these buildings are gone. One pylon defending the whole base. Yep. And there you go. Everything's on power. And he's basically dead. <laughs> And look at those vials. Threading the needle between the robo and the cyber core to maximize the damage output. Yep. No warp gate, no mortals, GG. And a laser takes game one over Hellraiser. That's a really good map specifically for the PVZ cannon run.